has completely redesigned their denim line. What did they do and why? That's what we're gonna talk about in today's video. Welcome, I'm Carl Morawski, and this is the channel that helps you own better, look better, and live better. Now, Carhartt provided me with a few pairs of their jeans for this video, but as you know, we don't do sponsored reviews. They don't get to see this video before it goes live. They have no editorial input whatsoever but it's important for you to know. A Little bit of story time for you. Back when I was an apprentice, I used to get most of my workwear from Sierra Trading Post or eBay, and or a Craigslist too. So actually I was going through Craigslist one day and I saw five pairs of Carhartt jeans for like 20 bucks a pair. Now to me, this was like a steal. So I placed the order, they were in my size, obviously, got them in brand new with the tags still on them. The only thing is that they, if you've ever seen a uniform, uh, I used to wear them when I was a mechanic, they actually have like an ironed on patch right here that'll have a barcode and the name of the person who they're issued to. These had that. So somebody had gotten their brand new jeans and then sold them. And I bought them and I mean, I wore a belt anyway, so I really didn't care all that much. But I gotta tell you, th those five pair of jeans got me through a lot of years in my uh, apprenticeship and well into my, my, my journeyman phase. I loved them, they were great. Now, those things weren't the best jeans in the whole world. They certainly looked like dad jeans. I mean, I was full on Mitt Romney with these things, but they were tough. They worked well. I had no complaints whatsoever. No, you know what? I take that back. I do have one complaint. One of the problems with those jeans was actually on the back pocket. So I'm gonna illustrate here. Uh, and this is something that I've actually seen other people have an issue with as well. The back pockets, oftentimes what I'll do is I'll put my lineman pliers and five in one uh, screwdriver in my back pocket, my right back pocket. The outside of that back pocket, not the pocket itself, but the fabric that it's stitched to right here, this denim would actually tear and it'd be a, there'd be a little hole there. And being a creature of, of habit, I, I can't switch sides. I can't just start putting them in my left pocket because I'm used to holding something, reaching back, and then being able to, to, to work with that. I can't, I can't switch things up. I'm just, I'm, I'm not smart enough to do that. So that was my main complaint. But what I would do is, you know, the jeans that I would buy, they would be worn at work until they were, you know, full of holes. Then they would be kind of downgraded to yard work duty. Does anybody else do that? Do you have like like a tiered system for your, your clothes that you buy? You know, it goes, maybe it's like something you wear out, then you'll wear it to work, and then you wear it to do yard work until it's basically nothing but bare thread, and then you throw it away. Is it just me? Let me know in the comments. Well, Carhartt's refresh is actually kind of a big deal because this is the first redesign in a long, long time. Until very recently, and I have it right here because I have some of their old models in front of me as well as their newer counterparts. Until very recently, you were able to still buy the dad jean Mitt Romney jean from Carhartt. I actually showed these to a guy I work with and there was a guy who uh, was a fantastic superintendent and he goes, oh my God, those are Joe jeans all day long because this is what he would wear. He would wear these jeans, his wife would iron creases into the front of them and he would wear a K87 Carhartt pocket tee. That was his uniform. So this redesign is actually a really big deal for Carhartt and we're gonna go through the changes one by one. Carhartt uses a brand new 13 ounce ring spun, 100% cotton denim for the new jeans. And that weight puts them on the heavier end of the mid-weight spectrum, but not as heavy as the 15 ounce jeans that they replace. Carhartt claims that these new jeans are thinner yet stronger than their ancestors though. And at first, those two qualities definitely seem to be at odds with one another. However, as we've discovered in my previous torture test video, fabric weight has little bearing on ultimate durability. More crucial factors are cotton fiber length, stitch quality, and overall design. In fact, the Carhartt B01 significantly outperformed the other work pants in terms of sheer strength in that torture test video, placing first in the leg pull, hammer loop pull, and belt loop pull tests. Additionally, decent work jeans need to balance durability and ease of movement, allowing you to be protected while crawling under a vehicle, climbing ladders, or navigating a dusty attic space. Too thin and the pants won't survive long. Too thick and they'll pinch or be unnecessarily warm. Now the back pocket issue that plagued me and by looking at the reviews, plenty of other people, they say was actually caused by the wash process. Bleach used in the wash process, which was never fully washed out, slowly deteriorated the cotton fibers over time, resulting in those pocket corner tears. Along with changing the wash process to be less aggressive and not use bleach at all, Carhartt redesigned the areas where the denim was so thickly layered that water could never reach it. 
This is especially noticeable in the back pockets and the main seams as compared to the old models. The back pockets are still double lined at the bottom though, so your screwdriver won't poke through them. Or if it does, it'll take twice as long. Speaking of seams, the classic Carhartt triple stitch is still present, but the inseam has been changed to a double stitch. At first, I thought this was a cost saving measure. More stitches, more strength, right? It's actually a benefit to mobility. In the type of work that I do, the inseam doesn't see much abuse, and I'll bet Carhartt saw this as a worthwhile trade-off. It's certainly a compromise that gives up some durability for ease of movement, but I can't think of the last time I blew out an inseam stitch. I do wish that Carhartt would finally include a crotch gusset though. That would really take these to the next level. Something Carhartt doesn't mention on the product page is the new fifth pocket design, which is vastly improved from the old models. The fifth pocket is actually quite useless on most jeans. It's a leftover from our days of pocket watches. This little pocket has become more of a traditional ornamentation than anything else. But thankfully Carhartt has increased its size dramatically, making it a great spot to store your pocket knife or other small items. The belt loops have been significantly upgraded from their old design, now being wider and sewn beneath the waistband. Admittedly, I never had a Carhartt belt loop fail on me, but this contemporary design is far superior. I like to hook my keys to my belt loop, so this is a fantastic upgrade. The smallest change, dimensionally, is the new rivet design. The old Carhartt rivets were good, having a rounded top, you know, but the new ones are entirely flat. This means even less chance you'll scratch up your truck when leaning against it to grab something out of the back. Carhartt claims they've redesigned the fit of their jeans with an updated top block, leg shape, and U-shaped saddle for increased comfort. Comparing the new models to their older versions, it looks like Carhartt has modernized the fit with tweaks rather than drastic changes. The overall width of the legs has been slightly reduced, and the top block seems a little bit roomier. Now, fit is such a tricky subject since everybody is different, so what's ideal for one person will be uncomfortable for the next. Still, I think it's safe to say that they feel much more like non-workwear jeans in regard to fit, although I still find their fit styles confusing. Thankfully, Carhartt has revisited their colors because until very recently, like I mentioned, you could find yourself in full dad jeans territory. The new washes are light years ahead of their old ones with nice variation, texture, and a little bit of light distressing. Now, looks are subjective, of course, but I think they finally brought their denim into the modern day, swapping the eight track for Spotify. These are jeans that you can wear both to work and casually. And although looks are low on the priority list for work pants, it doesn't hurt to work hard and look good doing it. All right, so we've gone through the new Carhartt line. So what's the verdict? Well, the pros definitely are their softer and stronger fabric, upgraded belt loops, fifth pocket and rivets, and the modernized color and wash options. The cons are a double stitched inseam rather than a triple stitched inseam trades durability for flexibility. There are no crotch gussets on these jeans. And it's a small thing, but I kind of wish they kept that leatherette patch instead of changing over to the fabric one that you find on all Carhartt stuff now. Now Carhartt still does something better than anybody else in the workwear space, and that's provide a good value. Now there are other brands out there, and if you were looking for the ultimate work jean quality level, is it here? No, definitely not. That would be a place like maybe uh, Grease Point Workwear, Ship John, Red Clouds Collective, something like that. However, those jeans are three to $400. These are about 50 bucks a piece. That means you could buy eight pair of these for one pair of those jeans. And when I did my review on the, the Grease Point Workwear, uh, people were saying the same thing. Who's gonna buy these and actually wear them to work? Now, very few people will wear $400 work jeans to work. I will, but I'm also kind of an idiot. For the rest of people out there though, I think that this is a very good price point. Now, the really cool thing is that they've upgraded all these little things on their jeans, but they don't cost anymore, which means that the ultimate value is actually better for the end user. And as somebody who's spent the last 20 years of his life on a construction site, I gotta tell you, there is still a reason that Carhartt is still the most, the best represented brand out there. However, with new competition nipping at their heels constantly, it's really gonna be interesting to see how Carhartt maintains their lead in the workwear space. As of right now, they're king of the hill, but there are a lot of really hungry up and comers who are just around the bend, so we'll see what happens. 
Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll catch you later.